you can increase your self-esteem with this one simple idea. Our self-esteem is a feeling of knowing that you can handle what's up ahead of you. A lot of people don't know how to build their self-esteem and as a result of that, they kind of hold themselves back. Or you can imagine that there's two people and they're playing a game of poker. And poker's about taking risks, it's about making bets. And so one person has 100 poker chips. The second person only has 10. Who's gonna take more risks? Well, the person with 100 is gonna take more risks. Why? Because they have more to lose. Self-esteem is kind of like that. If we have low self-esteem, we feel like we have too much to lose, so we hold ourselves back. We won't take action on the things that are gonna be great for us and great for our lives. If we have higher self-esteem, we're gonna be more likely to take the right amount of risks and move ourselves towards having a great and more fulfilling life. So how do we build our self-esteem? One of the ways that we can build our self-esteem is to increase the amount of self trust that we have. Now self-trust is a little bit different to the trust that we have with others, but it kind of works in a similar way. I want you to imagine that you were going away for a week and you wanted to ask one of your friends to come over and just take care of the house for a week, maybe water the plants, feed the animals, small stuff like that. You come back, they said they were gonna do it, but they didn't do it. Now, if that happened to you, would you trust that person more or less? I imagine the answer is that you're going to trust them a little bit less. Now I know that some of you watching this, you're probably not even going to give them another chance, but just for the sake of this metaphor, imagine that you did. You went away for another week and you said, hey, this time can you please look after the house, take care of the animals, feed, you know, feed the plants, take care of things, and they say, of course I will this time. You come back, they didn't do it. But this time they had really great reasons, really great excuses, oh it was because of the kids, it was because I was tired, it was because of this, it was because of that. Do you trust them more? Or do you trust them less? I'm sure the answer is less. Now I want you to imagine that you're going away for a week, but this time, uh, let's just say for example, you've got a family, even if you don't have a family, just for the sake of this that you do, and you need them to step in and look after your family. Are, are you gonna ask them or are you gonna ask someone else? I imagine the answer is, is you're gonna ask someone else, someone who has proven to you that they can take care of the little things, therefore they are worthy of the big things. Now I want you to apply that idea to yourself. Do you keep the promises that you make to yourself? I speak to a lot of people and they say, well, I would for other people, but when it comes to me, I kind of just let myself off the hook. This is the problem with that, is that you have a relationship with you. You're listening. There's a part of you that's paying attention to everything that you're doing. And when we say we are going to do something, even just for ourselves, and we don't do it, what we're teaching ourselves is that we don't follow through with what we say we're going to do. As a result of that, we're breaking trust. Just like how that would let down a friend or a colleague or a loved one, we're letting ourselves down. And a lot of us just don't have the awareness that this is such an important thing to avoid. When I first heard this message, it was like a massive awakening. I thought, wow, I've been saying yes to all these things and all these people, but not following through and I've been letting myself down. But I didn't know what was actually happening is this was decreasing my own self-trust. I want you to imagine that you have a trust bank, like an actual bank, but it's, you can't see it and it lives inside you. And you can make investments inside this bank and you can increase the amount of trust you have in the bank. And the way you make an investment is to say you're gonna do something and then do it. It's as simple as that. You say you're gonna do it, you do it. You mean it, you follow through. The way you take withdrawals out, which we want to avoid, we don't want to ever take uh, trust out of the bank. The way you take it out is you say you're gonna do something and then you break your promise. Now, the way to apply this is practice it with all the little things. So for example, you say you're gonna wake up tomorrow at seven because that's the time where you're gonna wake up and you're gonna exercise, you're gonna meditate, then you do it. You do it. Not because you have to, but because you said that you would. The next part of this is stop making commitments that you can't follow through with. So for example, when, when people hear this, a lot of people decide, well, I need to stop making commitments to people around me. I keep on saying, hey, I'm gonna come over, I'm gonna look after the kids, but really actually can't. So it's better for me to say, Actually, you know what, I don't think I can do that. 
because I need to prioritize me and I need to look after me. Now, I trust that you've taken away some value from this message. When I first heard it, it was life-changing for me. If you have loved the sound of this and you would love to learn more, I really want to invite you to go ahead and click the link below the video. What will happen is you'll go through to another page where I'd love to tell you about a live event that we're running where we're going to talk about ideas like this and heaps more. And we'll talk about how we can apply them to our own lives and how we can apply them to the lives of others. Go ahead and click the link below and I look forward to seeing you on the other side.